and welcome to another WordPress Wednesdays. Today we're going to talk about the absolute beginner, how to choose a theme. So welcome to the beginner track of WordPress Wednesdays. Today we're really going to start with the absolute basics, how to choose a WordPress theme. I'm going to walk you through the things that you should be looking for, even if you're just going to do a free theme, all the way up to purchased or even the more advanced hiring a developing company. What should you look for and what should they provide for your WordPress theme? Let's get it started. So the absolute best option for you that we suggest here at Webtegrity is for you to get a custom WordPress theme built for you. And one of the major reasons uh, why we, well actually there's a bunch of reasons why we suggest doing that and I've got them listed here in the blog article. Um, if it's built correctly for you by a, a good web company, uh, your theme will actually be responsive, which is super important these days. We all know that. It'll be lightweight, fast, with minimal plugins because everything that you've requested will already be coded inside of it. It'll have great SEO to start. Be sure that whoever you hire has that sort of knowledge and knows how to plug in those sort of certain elements inside of your WordPress theme, not just the Yoast plugin, but actually understands SEO. Uh, it'll have your logo not crammed into it like it would inside of a template but it'll actually have your entire website built around your branding, which is amazing to have. It'll also have certain elements that you require and you won't have to go out and try to find a plugin to cram that inside of it. Uh, it won't be scary to click update whenever you have to update your WordPress theme, which can be very daunting for some of us. Those that have lost your customization, you know how scary that click can be. And it should be secure too if it's built correctly. A custom theme should have a lot more security than an average um, template or, or uh, theme that you can purchase or a free theme. And it should be able to expand easily and quickly with your company. It should be able to grow with your company. So that's really why we suggest you connect with a, a WordPress developer company that can sit down with you, game plan your entire project, and build from scratch your custom theme. But if three to $8,000 really isn't in your current budget for your startup company or for your website's redesign, then you might want to go the next best, best option, which in our opinion is going over to maybe something like themeforest.net. I'll put the link in the description box below. Uh, themeforest.net has a whole area on their, in, in their uh, website for WordPress themes, and a lot of those are responsive. Some of the pros to actually purchasing uh, a theme is something along the lines of you can get it pretty easily. Um, in the budget range of like 40 to 55 bucks or so, you should be able to stay in that price range. Um, unless it has some crazy insane capability like a, a shopping cart that's like really robust or some sort of custom feature, you really don't need to be paying any more than that. Um, you should be able to customize it pretty quickly. A lot of times here, our team, uh, if a client comes in and says, no, I just have to have a customized theme, then we can typically get that done in just a few hours for you. So that again helps on your budget. And if you choose correctly when you're looking at uh, what theme to purchase, a lot of times an author will provide for you amazing documentation and a really great uh, support forum for help. So be sure to look for those things. But some of the cons that I wanted to point out whenever you're purchasing a theme are as follows. You can check this out here on the video. I mention it. Your competition could have the exact same look as you for the same low price. You'll be fitting your brand into something never designed specifically for you. So that can be tricky depending upon how your logo is shaped. And some template authors abandon their themes when they're not selling well. What that means for you is if you purchase a theme and you invest, you know, 40, 50 bucks and a year later down the road, the author decides that theme never sold well. I don't want to support it anymore. You're kind of on your own to either find a different theme and install that or keep your fingers crossed hoping that that theme doesn't break uh, as browsers update and security issues update and WordPress itself updates. Um, very typically it will break. So that's a huge concern and you need to be very aware of it. A lot of times also authors will code a lot of great features into a, a theme and you think, wow, those, that's an amazing theme for that cheap, I'm going to grab it. The problem is you end up not using a lot of those things and so your theme is just really heavy and it starts to slow down your website as it loads. So we really highly suggest for you as you're looking for a theme to only find a theme that has those absolute necessities that you want, not anything extra. Certainly do not purchase a WooCommerce ready theme, a shopping cart theme, if you're not going to be using a shopping cart. There's no reason to do it. Security risks are also an issue whenever you're purchasing a theme. Uh, because if an author is not up to date on all of his updates, if he's not staying up to date with what needs to be done for his theme, it very easily can be hacked 
or broken because of um, updates with WordPress or browser updates. Plug-in heavy, this is the other way around. Maybe you purchase something that you think, okay, this is a nice minimal theme and I can just use that, then all of a sudden you're gonna rely really heavily on plugging in a bunch of plugins and whenever you do that they stack on top of each other and very quickly they can start to conflict with each other causing breaks again in your website which is not good so we highly recommend using maybe 10 plugins or less on your WordPress theme try not to build up beyond that because you'll certainly have conflicts and and have a, a nightmare and speaking of nightmares one of those things that come into effect with any WordPress theme whether it's custom built for you uh, purchased or free is going to be your updates WordPress does require updates and it's a good thing because what that means is that the core of your website is always going to be secure that's what they're constantly fighting against they're they're updating it for browser updates so as IE comes out with something new or Firefox or Chrome they have to update WordPress and then also from that it's kind of a ripple effect now your theme has to update as well so whenever you click update a lot of times you can lose all that customization done inside that theme uh, that's where a child theme comes into play or a custom CSS box if your author has coded that. We'll touch base on that on another video, I'm sure. And of course, the wonderful thing about WordPress is all the free options. And there are free options when it comes to themes. And there's some pros and cons to, to using a free theme as well. I mean, really, you can get, um, obviously, it meets your budget. That's a huge con. It's totally free. That's fantastic. Uh, and there are actually a lot of free themes that are pretty decent when it comes to their looks and their capabilities. Um, some of them got, have some really nice slideshows on the homepage. Some have some really nice photo galleries in there. You just kind of have to go shopping. And how you do that is you come here to your um, dashboard area. You go to Appearance and go to Themes. And right here on the screen, you're going to see something that says Add New. Clicking that opens up a whole area that you can go in here and you can do um, a complete total search. See over here on this side, there's a little search area. And as my face is hiding behind there, sorry you guys. Um, but you can come in here and search for the most popular. You can do a, a filtered search and do a search for responsive. All sorts of fun stuff. Or this is also where you would do your upload if you wanted to actually uh, have a purchased and upload it here. So that's where you'd go for uh, a free theme. Here's what you want to look for no matter what though. If you're hiring a development firm, if you're going with a purchase theme, or if you're going to use a free theme for now, okay? Here's what you want to look for. Here's my list. Is it responsive? That's key right now, and it has to say that in the theme spe specifications, that it is responsive. Is the WordPress theme capable to be viewed on all browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Opera? Is it good on IE8? Does it go back that far? Check that because a lot of your uh, viewers might be on older browsers. You need to be aware of that. And does the theme have good reviews? Please pay attention to that. No matter what, inside of a free area or inside of the paid uh, you know, website, wherever you go to buy a, a purchase theme, make sure that it has good reviews and that it's been downloaded several times. What you don't want to do is start off with a brand new theme because it could very easily have all sorts of wonkiness going on. Um, and does it, has it been recently updated? That's another thing, especially inside that free area. It'll give you a list and tell you where it's, uh, when it's been updated, so please be aware of that. And does the author have uh, good documentation? So sometimes if you're reading through the reviews, you're going to see some negative re reviews. Some people might be saying, you don't have this anywhere, or that was very difficult to follow, or why can't you have video uh, documentation? Pay attention to those because you really want an author that is very easily uh, giving you, giving you instructions on how to install your theme and customize your theme. Does the author have a forum area for support or does he or, he or she offer you an email address that you can communicate with them directly? That's important, especially if you're purchasing a theme. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to find an author uh, whenever you're using a free theme. They seem to go MIA on you. But uh, the purchase themes, you should have pretty direct access to that team of coders to get some help if you have questions. And does the theme have at least 80% of the features that you're wanting? The, the reason why I say that is because, again, you don't want to be doing a lot of plugins that could possibly conflict with your theme. So you want to try to theme, find a theme that has a lot of the elements that you're already looking for. And does the theme have too much that you'll have to remove? I know that's a lot of information to take in, but each one of those are super important to understanding how to get the best theme for your WordPress website. If you have any questions, be sure to tweet us over at WordPress Wednesdays. You can go on to our website, check out the link below. I'll put our Twitter handle down below in the description box. I look forward to hearing from you with any of your questions, and we'll see you next time on WordPress Wednesday. Bye, y'all.